and welcome back everyone back to another anime defenders video so we haven't had one of these in a while and i've had a total of about like four different anime defender videos i'm sorry anime vanguard videos so i've made about four of them mainly just leaks and kind of talking about um the update about it and like where it's at in production but right now we do have some extra like leaks and updates on where the game's at right now so honestly we're just gonna get straight to it and we have a couple leaks just for like some models um how the game looks inside there's actually like a really new really nice leak where the guy's actually walking around you can really get in detail and see everything uh like how like the lobby looks like but most importantly we have some leaks from the developers themselves that basically tells you straight up on like where they're at in the creation of this game so we're going to start off with just like these just these small little leaks honestly nothing crazy uh this is just really everything that's new uh, if you guys haven't watched like the previous ones, I ha I did get my hands on like a lot of other leaks that's in my previous videos. I'll have those at the end of this video, but we don't really have a lot of new ones right now. Uh, I mean, this is a huge just blur picture of like all the game passes that are going to be in the game um, during launch. And here it is from the dev themselves. Uh, we are excited to announce that all game passes are now completely finished and ready for you to enjoy. Here's a small leak some of the game passes i mean it's completely blurry i mean you can't really kind of tell what they are we did get some leaks on like the actual game passes themselves uh, i have one right now but i'm not entirely sure if i showed others in the previous videos so i'll just recommend you guys just go and check them out yourself but again this is we can just get a good idea there's going to be what one two three four five six seven different game passes on launch adding to what clay has mentioned above about the dev products um are also completed such as buying trait rerolls gems and gold so multiple times throughout this leaks uh they do state that a lot of the like projects um in the game itself that they were working on were already completed and it was really just the small things from what they stated but again there was a lot of small things they had to work on but it looks like they have completed most of it here's a small little video of leak of one of the characters themselves and you can see just how in detail this new aura looks on them Here's a leak, of course, for one of the VIP game passes. I mean, you can already assume that one of the game passes is going to be a VIP. That's I mean, that's one of the most common game passes I think you'll see in any Roblox game. Uh, but there's that one. And then here's another leak for extra unit storage. So, I mean, I guess just knowing the game, um, knowing the type of game it is, you can just assume what type of game passes are probably going to have. So, I mean, just common ones. I, I don't really think it's going to be anything crazy. So, but again, like we saw, it's going to be about seven at launch. And you can see from the same photo that we're going to be able to gift these game passes. Another little quick video right here of the dev showing off his moves. So there's literally emotes that you can have in the game too which is pretty funny and they have ones who are similar to just like the characters themselves like we literally just saw them do the honored one for gojo that's funny like stack them on top of a bunch of people i'm not gonna be surprised if we hop into a server there's gonna be so many people doing that and then very quickly here are some of the last leaks of just little random textures and models um little things that are going to be in the game uh, here's some of the faces you see here for some of the uh, units slash towers you're going to be having. I mean, we can just see that most of these are just going to be from Naruto themselves. We got Naruto, we got Obito, we got Nagato. I'm assuming that's Mike guy. And the super long video, the one I was telling you guys about where he's kind of going through the whole lobby. This is probably one of the best leaks we have of them actually showcasing the entire spawn area. And it just looks really high quality just on my end. I'm hoping that um, you guys seen it on your guys' screen. You guys can see like how high quality you can see just the spawn. Everything's just so nice.
definitely a very like realistic and just like kind of retro vibe to the whole thing and i feel like that just just makes the game just pop out a lot more that people just see that type of stuff in games it's just they're gonna it's just it's just eye candy for them you know it just makes them stay longer and then we got a couple um three more pictures not really leaks but uh there were little uh comments made by the devs themselves in the discord server and there's two of them here let's go ahead and look at the first one um by psych or Sype Sife? Sife? i don't even know how to say them uh so i'm officially out of task to work on including bugs then from newy or new we got me too so two of the devs i don't know how many devs are working on the game but at least just two of them have already stated that they completed everything that they personally have to work on and then we got the second one right here from another dev i'm assuming just because the profile picture is different but a big paragraph right here to kind of sum up everything that they've been working on and i'm assuming like what's left to do so really quickly we haven't updated our to-do list for a while here's a rundown of what we're working on at the moment and the first one is finishing secret new game mode. It's already basically completed. Just need to implement rewards. A button to select it from the lobby and a few small UI tweaks. Second, finishing unit passives. Two of the mythics required uh, reworking the code, but that's finally over with. Uh, there's only one mythic and a few legendaries left before all passives are finished. This took slightly longer than expected since passives are actually unique and not just percent increases. A few unit and boss mechanics are missing, nothing big, just need to finish those. Only two game passives remain to add and they're both simple. We're just been focusing on more important things, we'll finish them soon. So I'm assuming this was probably uh, posted before they stated that all the game passes are finished basically. There's one last system almost finished, but needs adding reward too. Uh, it's a system that we haven't shown anywhere yet. And it's also a system that we want to keep hidden to prevent idea theft. Extremely free to play friendly though, and all you guys will love it. Some UIs needs to be updated, redone to fit the game better. No big changes, luckily. As always, bugs will always exist. Uh, we fix them as we go, trying to strike a balance between bug fixing and working on the remaining features. And last but not least, this is kind of like a leak on uh, like their to-do list and what they've already finished and what needs to be finished so you can kind of just look at this and you know do your own due diligence on like this it's like this game's like 95% done already like we can expect this game like within like I'm gonna say I mean if we're looking at this and like just how many tasks need to be done and what they said like if this game doesn't come out within at least the next this this next month then i don't know i don't know what to tell you there's they, they should not need another month to finish like what this appears to be like and only like 10 percent left of the game but that's pretty much all the leaks it was nothing crazy honestly i was expecting to get my hands on some more leaks because we haven't made a video for the anime vanguards and a while honestly i don't even know how long it's been maybe two three weeks uh but it's been a while and there hasn't been a lot of leaks honestly but as of right now again we're still here just playing the waiting game uh this is probably gonna be my last video that i do on vanguards i'm not sure if we do get our hands on some like crazy leak that they're telling us the video you know the game's coming out tomorrow that i might do one more video but if that's not the case then we're probably just waiting until the game actually comes out uh but yeah Again, this is uh, probably like my fourth or fifth video already on Vanguards before the game even came out. Honestly, it's just, I don't know, it's a little crazy because we're hyping this game up like way too much. So I'm really hoping it like lives up to it. But so far, I mean, so far so good. I mean, the game just looks really nice from all the leaks we've seen. And, you know, just for me personally, I mean, I already like a bunch of tower defense games. So, I mean, I'm pretty excited for it. So can't wait for the game whenever it comes out. Hopefully no more than like two or three weeks because we were already supposed to be playing that game. And, you know, right now I'm kind of just struggling on making content here and there. Nothing else to talk about, though, y'all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to stay updated on any other stuff for Vanguards, you guys can hit that sub if you haven't yet. We've already been building a small community for this game on my Discord. So if you guys want to be a part of that, then the link will be down below in the description. Make sure to check out my other Vanguard videos if you guys haven't yet. But besides that, it has been Prime. Prime, you ready? And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.